It erupted spontaneously as far as we could see all around Panama City. Pots and pans clanging, the cry of the opposition to Noriega that we have heard so many times over the past two or three years. Back then, of course, to join in the cries of the opposition was to risk arrest or a dose of tear gas, perhaps a beating. Tonight, one big party. A moment of history in the making. Noriega gone, Panama joyful, an ordeal come to an end. This is Dan Molina reporting live from Panama City. Well, the U.S. indictments against Noriega were unsealed nearly two years ago. He is charged with conspiracy, racketeering, importing drugs, and traveling to further the conspiracy. Among the specifics, allegedly accepting a bribe of more than $4 million from Colombia's violent Medellin cocaine cartel. Now, if he's convicted, he could get up to 145 years in a U.S. prison. Tonight's surrender follows one of the biggest demonstrations ever in Panama. Tonight, Noriega emerged from the Vatican Embassy in Panama City, where he'd been holed up since Christmas Eve boarded a U.S. Army helicopter and was flown to Howard Air Force Base in Panama, where he was arrested by federal drug agents. President Bush announced Noriega's surrender tonight from the White House. Well, on Wednesday, December 20th, I ordered U.S. troops to Panama with four objectives. To safeguard the lives of American citizens, to help restore democracy, to protect the integrity of the Panama Canal Treaties, and to bring uh, General Manuel Noriega to justice. All of these objectives have now been achieved. At about 8.50 this evening, General Noriega turned himself in to U.S. authorities in Panama with the full knowledge of the Panamanian government. He was taken to Howard Air Force Base in Panama, where he was arrested by DEA. Noriega gave up after a day of dramatic protests in Panama. Thousands of Panamanians surrounded the Vatican Embassy, chanting assassin and no mercy. They demanded his surrender. It was the final objective of the U.S. forces who invaded Panama on December 20th. 25,000 American troops hit the Central American country hard in the middle of the night. It was a coordinated attack with mechanized divisions, special forces, paratroop drops, and air cover. Noriega was almost captured that night but he managed to slip away. We have decapitated uh, uh, him from the uh, dictatorship of this country, and he is now a fugitive and will be treated as such. Well, he was treated as a fugitive indeed, and he was taken into custody this evening. He is on his way back to the United States right now aboard a U.S. military aircraft expected to land at Homestead Air Force Base in Florida sometime after midnight tonight. Congressman Ted Weiss of Manhattan was against Operation Just Cause, as the operation in Panama is called. He has many reservations about Noriega's being brought back to the United States. He's in our newsroom right now. Congressman, why don't you want him brought back here? Why is it a bad idea in your view? Well, I hold no grief for Noriega. He's a dictator, a despot a drug trafficker, but what's important is what we are. We're supposed to be a nation of laws, not, not of personalities. And I think we violated international law, we violated our own constitution. Your view is certainly a minority one, and the people of Panama would probably disagree with you on that. They seem to be happy. A dictator who stole an election and was allegedly a drug runner is now out of power and on his way to face justice in the U.S. Is that really wrong? Well, I have no doubt but that they're happy that they're rid of him. But I think that the devastation that was brought, the number of American and Panamanian lives that were killed, the number of people who were injured, was hardly worth the price of breaking our own principles in order to bring him back and put, put him to a questionable uh, trial, which I don't think is justified under our laws. All right, Congressman Weiss, thank you very much for joining us this evening. We'll have more on the situation in Panama later in this broadcast. Sue? Tonight, the U.S. government is condemning the killing of an American nun in Nicaragua and in East Harlem, where she once worked. Sister Maureen Courtney is being remembered as a woman who loved her work.